Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I did an all drugstore affordable makeup tutorial, and this is a full face tutorial, so it's a drugstore product in every single category. And yeah, if you want to see this drugstore makeup transformation, then keep watching. <laughs> to start out, I'm going in with the Milani No Pore Zone Primer. So this is a mattifying primer. The consistency of this really reminds me of the Smashbox primer. Like the, the photo, is it photo finish or photo focus primer? Oh wow, that really mattified my face. And everything just feels so much smoother. I'm always on the hunt for a really good mattifying primer since I have really oily skin. And this one looks really good. Next up, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 455. I just recently started using this foundation and I really like it. It wears really well throughout the day and it also has SPF 25 in it, but I haven't noticed a flashback. So that's a good sign. The only downside of this one is that it does have perfume in it. You can definitely smell it, but it's not enough to give you a headache. Me personally, I get really bad migraines. So if it doesn't affect me, then you guys should be fine. But if you have skin that's sensitive to perfumes, I might skip out on this one. This just gives such a beautiful coverage. It is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I normally bronze my hands up a little bit anyway in the winter. I love fall and winter for that reason. Everything else is covered and you just need to worry about pretty much your neck and your hands. Next up, I'm going in with the Tried and True LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Porcelain. I like the shade because it has a hint of orange in it which helps with color correcting. Not that I need too much color correcting, but just nice to have. I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 seconds. I learned this trick from Harouche. From Harouche, Harouche. It just allows the consistency to get a little bit thicker and it gives you more of a full coverage. All right, now we're good. Just blending that out. To set this, I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals. This is in the shade Banana. I like this one because it gives you almost like a glowing effect. Like it doesn't say anything about that in the description. And I don't even mean like a highlighter type glow. Like I don't even know exactly how to describe it. Like it almost just makes your skin look brighter. I don't know. If you've used this powder, let me know if you see that same effect. It just makes me look more alive. And I don't even mean just the banana shade. I've tried other shades in um, this formula before. And yeah, it just gives you, gives you like a glow. I don't know. And with my setting powders, I normally just leave some on the corners of my eyes there, my forehead wrinkles, and then I get right on the side of the nose there. I set my entire face because I have very oily skin, and I also like to bake certain areas for like wrinkles and also for oil purposes. But the rest, like I have a really like crinkly forehead, <laughs> so I like to set there and then the sides of my eyes. Then I just leave that bake while we go into the contour. I'm gonna be using the Pixie X Promise Shapeshifter Palette. And this is a Wet n Wild face brush. I'm just gonna be dipping into this guy here. This is such a great palette for, the formula is number one because it's just blends out really, really nicely. But I love how many shades there are to choose from in here. There are also highlighters in here, brightening powders, setting powders. It just really has it all. And this palette I believe is only like $22. This one I believe is pushing the boundary for drugstore because I think I've only seen them in Target. But let me know if you guys consider Target drugstore. Just contouring the chin, my neck. I also go a little bit under the lip here just to make it a little bit more pouty. Now we're moving on to the nose. So I like to just take it from my eyebrow to the top part here where like the inner corner of my eyes and then shade all of that in. This just narrows out the top of the nose and it also kind of primes your eyeshadow look. I like when the nose contour blends into the eye look. It just gives it like a seamless look in my opinion. I'm just gonna do the tip of my nose. I know you guys are probably like, why are you leaving that setting powder <laughs> to bake there in the center? As I'm doing the nose contour over it, I kind of just blend it in as we go. I grab this brush and then I just go over top of it. Just tap it all in. When it comes to my nose, I've just pretty much been making it darker and just pretending like it's not there. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Glow Matte Bronzer. And this is in Fair to Light, which I really feel like 
this is mislabeled because it looks like it would definitely be more of a medium. I'm just gonna bronze out my face here. Add a little bit more life in there. I'm also just gonna go on the chin here and down the neck. For blush, I'm going in with this guy from Wet n Wild. This is Let's Get Smashed. So it's a nice peachy blush. I love Wet n Wild's blushes. They're just like a very creamy powder. For highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Revolution. This is the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror collaboration. And I'll probably go in with the Skull Lisa. I'm just adding this to the tip of my nose. And then also the bridge. I like doing my highlighter when I do my face makeup because it just allows me to see the whole look come together. And I can always go back and add more later if I want to. Now that the forehead should be good, I'm just going in and bronzing that up. And then I just go around and tap in the excess setting powder. For brows, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive. The pencil that I'm using is the Brow Sessive in Taupe. I'm gonna just comb my brows out with this in. This might be a little bit too light for me, but I think I used their darker version and it was a, a warm toned brown and I really didn't like it. And this taupe seems like a nice cool toned. Yeah, so it's definitely lighter than what I normally do, but hopefully that brow gel will darken it a little bit. So yeah, it's a little light for me, but I do like it. Let's see if we can make it a little darker with this gel. This is the Brow Sculpting Gel in brown. So I'm just gonna dab off the wand here. Then I'm also just gonna go on the back of my hand just to get off any excess. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely more my speed. So just added a really subtle brown tint to the mix. Moving on to the eyes, I've been dying to use this palette. This is the Bratz Collection by Makeup Revolution, and this is the Jade palette. Ugh, look at those tones. So I wanna do a really warm, goldeny, bronzy eye. I'm gonna go in with Fringe, which is that terracotta shade in the palette. Ooh, this is really pigmented. I'm going in with the shade Hot Stuff. This is way more of a red than I thought it was. I thought this was more of like a red based brown, but this is like straight burgundy. I don't hate it though. Do you guys remember that show So Little Time with the Olsen twins? There was like the butler guy who always said, I don't hate it. And I like say that at least like three times a day in my head. But every time I bring up that show to anyone, no one knows what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go in with Fabric and Scissors which is like a true brown, just to kind of tone this down a little bit. I'm just taking that same combo of colors and going on the outer corner, which is just my favorite eyeshadow style. I went into the shade Latest Looks and I just added this to the outer crease. And I'm going underneath the eye Primarily focusing on the outer corner. Then I'm gonna take Punk Rock, which is that coal shade. I'm taking this to the outer corners and I'm gonna blend it all together. I'm gonna take Love It and add this to the inner part of my eye here. And I'm gonna mix it with Prom Night. Taking the shade Makeover, which is that icy white in the palette, and go into the inner corners. I'm also gonna clean up underneath the brow here. For my waterline, I'm going in with this dark brown pencil by LA Girl. This is perfect precision in the shade brown. I've been liking using brown in the waterline because it's less harsh, but it still gives you that dark effect. Then I'm gonna go in and fill in close to the lash line here, just so that there's no gaps and it flows right in. I have to say guys, I really like this palette. The eyeshadows were perfectly, like they blended out perfectly. I love all these shades. If you love these tones, 
you would really like this palette. But also you can use this shade as a highlighter and then these two as your eyebrow shades. Like this would be like the perfect shade for me to do my eyebrows. Um, yeah, and if you have blonde hair, you have this more like taupey one. And then you have like an eyeliner. To do my wing, I'm gonna go in with this guy by Makeup Revolution. Oh, this was from the Batman collab. It's just like a regular felt tip. I have eyeshadow all over my hand. I'm just gonna lay down the wing and then I'm gonna go in and smoke it out using that black shade from that palette. Okay, for mascara, I do not have a drugstore mascara here. I don't know where they all went. I would say Maybelline is the best brand to get any kind of mascara from. I just love all of theirs. They're colossal. The one that is in the yellow tube is really good. And then the butterfly effect one that's in like the pinky purpley tube, it's like a fuchsia tube. That one's really good. I'm sure that you guys know. Uh, but yeah, anything by Maybelline is always good. I'm just gonna go into a mascara that I already have here. This one is by Stilla. We're gonna be going in with lashes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Before we finish out the look with lashes, I'm gonna do my lips. So for lip liner, you guys are gonna laugh. Look at this guy. This is by Milani. This is in the shade All Natural. This is such a great lip liner shade for a really natural look. For lips, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout in Marshmallow Madness. These smell just like marshmallows, by the way. Ugh. I really wanted to use this shade because I liked the color, but I feel like it's looking like I was trying to match my eyes or something and like just couldn't get it. So let me see if I can top it off with something else. I'm gonna go in with this guy by Milani. I love this lip gloss. It's a plumping lip gloss. And this is in Little Secret. To finish out the face, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is in the shade True Beige. And I discovered this brush from CVS. This is the Eco Tools brush in Wonder Cover Complexion. So it's just like a flat, like really dense brush. And I'm just gonna press this in. This just really finishes out the makeup and gives you a really airbrushed look. For lashes, I'm going in with these Falsies by Wet n Wild. These are in Enchant. But any kind of Ardell lashes are really good if you're just going to the drugstore. The Ardell Wispies are some of my favorites and also Kiss has really good Wispies. But I just trimmed the ends off of here so this is what the new lash looks like. And I'm using the Dark Duo Lash Glue. I'm just popping these guys toward the outer corner. I'm gonna top myself off with a little extra blush. I'm gonna straighten my hair real quick and I'll be back. All right, this is the finished look guys. I do need to use setting spray and this is making me realize how many products I've used from Makeup Revolution. But this is the Revolution Fix and Glow. So this is a dewy finish. They also have a matte version of this that I love, but I don't think I've used this one before. And I always used to make fun of people who used fans to dry the setting spray, but it really does just give it like a an even finish. Yeah, so that just gave like a really subtle glow, nothing like chunky sparkly or anything. It looks nice. So this is my full face of drugstore makeup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. My absolute favorite product of them all, I already told you guys, was the Makeup Revolution Jade Palette. I mean, this eye look is amazing. And like I said, with like the highlighter, the eyeliner, um, you can even use it as the um, eyebrow shader. Shader, what? To fill in your eyebrows. <laughs> my next favorite thing would have to be the Infallible Powder. I've been using this for a little while now and I love this powder. It really just, really ties everything together, it just mattifies it, and just like, I don't know, it just gives an overall like smoothing look to the skin. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it, that really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Also, let me know what your favorite drugstore product is in the comments down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>